Hi everyone, a little disclaimer before the video starts. The recording program I used was really laggy for this video, so I apologize. The video is going to be a bit laggy, but I'll get a new one in the future, so yeah, I apologize, but enjoy the video. Hey everyone, it's Pearl, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to add realistic water to your GFXs, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up Roblox Studio and load in your character and whatever other models you want. So now we have everything we need. Okay, so now let's export our props. And now we just export your avatar and any other accessories. Click export selection. And I'll just call this water GFX and make sure you're on your desktop and click save. So for this tutorial, I'll be using Blender 2.79. So open up Blender, click anywhere, come to the top where it says Blender render, click cycles render. I'm going to be using a rig. However, this is completely optional. Okay, so I've now posed my avatar, so I'm going to delete the rest of my body. So if you're using a rig, then you need to add a camera by clicking add, and then camera. If you're not using a rig, then just click view and click camera. Once you've added your camera, you can get out of the camera mode. Make sure you're in object mode. So go to add, then click mesh, and then click plane. And now you should have this little square. And what you need to do is click the little wrench, click add modifier, and then click ocean. So now you have this big white model of an ocean, but it doesn't have any texture. So I'm gonna use the arrow tool to first drag it down. So that's pretty good, I think. But you can see that it's like just white and not realistic. So, okay, so right click it, then head to this orange circle, click new, and then where it says diffuse BSDF, click that and click glass. So I'm going to head into rendered view for this one just so you can see the difference. But now as you can see it has a bit more reflection. So this still isn't very realistic, now it just looks grey. So click the white and I'm going to make it all the way bright and like a light blue color. Just like that. So it still looks pretty dark. So the last step is go to the website I have linked in the description. It's called hdrihaven.com and it's where you can get free HDRIs. So once you're on the website, I did already explain how to download these in one of my previous videos but I'll go over it again. Come to the website, click the HDRIs button at the top. So then what you're going to do is go wherever you want and find an HDRI that you like. So this was what will help the texture look a lot better and a lot more realistic. I'm using one called Lakeside because it's just my favorite for water texture, but every HDRI is a different texture and I obviously haven't used every single HDRI there is. So I recommend experimenting and seeing which HDRI you like the best. So yeah, just find the one you want. Um, I'll link the one that I'm using in the description if I can find it. But yeah, I'm using one called Lakeside, and it's very pretty. So once you have it installed, go back to Blender, and head over to this globe icon. Then click Use Nodes. Okay, so then next to the color button, click this little dot, and click Environment Texture. So now the world should turn pink. I know this looks crazy. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Then next to that, click the Open button. Go to your downloads and find the HDRI that we just downloaded. So then just give it a second to load and it has now been imported. Okay, so I'd probably leave it like this. As you can see, the water texture is really realistic. If you wanted to, what you could do is select this. You could also change it to glossy. Sometimes I use glass, sometimes I use glossy. I think I'm gonna use glossy for this one, but it just depends on the quality of the HDRI. Some HDRIs I find look better in the glass texture, some look better in the glossy texture. So now, once you're happy with your GFX, so I'm using this GFX in a YouTube thumbnail for this video. I'm going to leave the dimensions, but if you're using an Instagram post or just a square, I recommend doing 10,000 by 10,000. So then scroll down and where it says FFmpeg video, click PNG and then click RGBA to make sure it's in full color. And that's all you need to do. So when you're ready, click render at the top and render your image. So I'll be right back when it's done. This is the finished product. I hope this video helped you a lot. Again, I apologize for the laggy video. I will fix it for next time. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye everyone.